Hey everybody, my name is Gene. I'm a graphic designer. I'm an illustrator. I've been in the business for about 15 years now. And um, I, I like wild animals. I don't know why I said that. But today we're going to make, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to make a bear dance. And we're going to do this out of paper. Uh, we're going to use some, uh, just some regular construction paper, use some markers, and uh, use some, some brass tacks. Not push tacks, but like, you know, the kind that have the foldy out edges. I'll show you. Let's go get started. All right, so everybody loves a dancing bear, and that's what we're gonna do right now. We're going to show you how to make a dancing bear. So the first thing you need to do is draw yourself a little bear. Now bears are great because they're just a bunch of circles. So we're gonna draw the head. Um, we're gonna draw the body. And then we're gonna draw the ears, which are more circles. And I'm not gonna draw any of the other stuff real right now, um, like the nose and the mouth, because I'm gonna flip this over later and draw it then. Now we're gonna draw the arms, which are basically just rectangles with a curved end. Rectangle, rectangle, curved end. And then we're gonna draw bare legs. But what we're gonna do is, and I'm not gonna draw them here, I'm gonna draw them next to the bear so I have a, a little bit of an idea of scale. There we go. Again, just basically rectangles, okay? Connected. And in fact, we can, we can give this one like a little oven mitt for a hand. Bam, little oven mitt. So the oven mitts are basically ovals, okay? And then a little oval for a thumb. There you go, there's the oven mitt. Little oval for the thumb, oval for the hand. We're gonna connect these two rectangles with a little knee and give yourself a little oval for the foot. And then round off this top rectangle. Okay, let's um, give him a little neck and cut this guy out. Now kids, remember, if you're a little younger, make sure you're using safety scissors and make sure you, uh, you have mom and dad help you out. And if you want, you can even cut these arms out separately. I just did it here. I'm giving you the basic idea with this. The idea, guys, the basic idea, I, I wanna give you sort of all of the, the beginner stage um, principles and then you can take that and you can sort of explore a little bit and extrapolate which ask your parents what that means and do everything else on your own so right now I'm going to show you how to do the dance and bare legs but if you want later on you can cut arms out and you can even cut a head out separately and you can make a dance and bear who has moving arms moving legs moving head, you can make his ears move, you can make anything you want move using the same principles I'm gonna show you here when we attach the legs. So, just be careful here finishing cutting this out. Like I said guys, listen, if you're a little bit unsure about your skill with uh, using these safety scissors to cut everything out, it's better to ask for help than to get hurt. Just remember that, you don't wanna get hurt, but it's okay to ask for help. I'm sure that mom or dad, or brother or sister, uncle, maybe your cat, someone is going to help you out and then they can join in and they can have some fun too because you can't have all the fun, you got to share the fun. If you share fun with your friends, with your family, it makes more fun. And everybody likes more fun better than they like not enough fun. All right, a little oven mitt there. If you don't know what an oven mitt is, you're probably really young, ask mom or dad what an oven mitt is and they'll go to the kitchen and I'm sure they'll get you an oven mitt and they'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's our bear. And I'll flip him over so that all of our construction lines are gone. And now um, we can draw, here's the little bear belly. And here's a bear nose, it's basically a triangle. Here's a bear mouth. Here's a bear eyes. Hey, look, he's happy. Some bear ears. All right, now what's missing? Oh no, he doesn't have legs yet, but that's okay. We're gonna cut out our first leg and I'll show you how to do it. And then you can cut out a second leg and attach them both. Let me get 
rid of that giant piece of paper because it was too much. It was in the way because I have big man hands. Me and Paul Bunyan have the same size uh, gloves. Both of our hands, he had uh, an ox and it was a blue ox, which is why I'm using blue paper. But we're the same size. I'm actually 13 feet tall and my hands uh, each are a foot and a half wide when I spread them like this. So that's why it's tough for me to use these tiny little safety scissors. Okay, now what you want to do is grab your bear and then grab some of these fantastic little brass fasteners. Um, I got these from our, my local craft store. And what you want to do is you want to put the leg basically where it's going to go and mark the leg and then push the brass fastener through the paper. Now be careful when you do this. Just push real lightly. The paper is going to give just fine. Push real lightly. You don't have to force it. And don't put your fingers in the way. There you go. Flip them over where all your, your ugly construction lines are and take the brass fastener and just turn it like this. Okay, just turn it a little bit so you get some movement in there. And then spread the brass fastener out with your fingernails. Probably get your parents' help on this too. And then fold both sides down. There you go. And now you got a dancing bear. And you can move the legs however you want. You can do this with the arms, okay? You can do it with the head and make the head move. And uh, you got a dancing bear. And give it another leg too. Otherwise, he's going to be a hopping bear. So he's hopping. And that's, that's why he moves like this, because he's got to keep his balance as he moves along. So now that you're armed with this knowledge, you can make uh, a bear dance, you can make a kangaroo dance, you can make a lobster dance, because they have a lot of limbs that can go like this if you put them on right and you use the little brass tabs. Uh, you can make a snake dance. Okay, so a snake doesn't have legs and they probably can't dance, but if you want, you can do a bunch of little rectangles, and actually I would round off the edges and put them together, use the brass tabs to put them together, and you can make this a coil. See, so that's all I'm talking about. Get a little creative, experiment, because there's a lot of things you can do uh, with the brass tacks. And uh, you guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.